Uh, that's what I'd really love to hear about. Tell us, tell us how you got into playing with Motown and who you played with and, yeah. and where you played. And I'm, I'm sure people would love to hear about all that. Yeah, well, uh, my first tour was 68, 1968. It was a Temptations tour. Okay. Now, I had a homeboy from Noonan, Hamilton Bohannon, who became a very known, uh, well-known producer in disco music. Uh, he had gotten into Motown. He started out teaching school, didn't like it, so somehow things happened and he got into Motown as a drummer. Uh, Stevie Wonder and Martha and the Vandellas drummer, you know, he was just hanging around, around Detroit, but he got in there. And after a couple of years, he said, hey, let me start my own band. You know, let me get musicians to come in. So uh, in 68, he gave me a call. I never will forget that. It was in the spring of 68. He said, hey, Reese. What are you doing? He said, you still teaching? I said, yeah, man, I'm still teaching. He said, I got a gig. I got a, a temptation gig. It'd be 10 days. And he said, you think you can make it? He gave me the dates. I said, man, well, I'm, I'm teaching school. <laughs> he said, well, ask your principal. Just ask him. He said, actually, uh, he gave me the dates. I said, well, I have five days out, out for spring break. He said, well, all you need to do is get five days off, get a week off, man. You, you, you can swing that. So I went to uh, the principal, Mr. Mr. Leonard Patton, he was the principal, and I told him about that. He said, Reese, you need to go. He said, that would be a great experience for you. Get me a good sub and you go. <laughs> I was like, wow. And uh, man, you're talking about a learning experience. I needed to go, but it helped me to do uh, what I do now as an arranger, the things that you heard me arrange and stuff. You know, it was so educational for me. And challenging too. Now you think about the Temptations tunes like My Girl and I Wish It Would Rain, you know, we knew all those tunes. And he said, I said, well, send me the music. He said, you don't need any music, man. So we, we don't send music to people like that. We're going to have a rehearsal and uh, that's it. So when, when you got to rehearsal, were you expected to know the licks already just from having heard the records or do they give you anything to go by? Man, listen, we, had a, we got to the rehearsal. Our first job was in uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Franklin Marshall College, I think. Got a good memory, man. Yeah, you did. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we got there just a little late. We had to stop in Philly to pick up some, somebody at the airport. So we got there just a little, we got there in time for the show, but just a little late. We had about an uh, 18-piece orchestra. I might be a little wrong with that, but the orchestra was full, full brass, full trumpet section, Full reed section, of course, drums and percussion, but only one trombone. And that was me, okay. a rookie. And uh, we only had a, a, about a 30 minute rehearsal because everybody knew the book but me. <laughs> you play, I'm playing with pros, man. They knew the book. And I, I've never seen the book. But I'm saying, oh, it'll be so did my you, girl. You actually had a book, though? Yeah, they okay. gave me a book. But so man, you had some music to go by. I had music. Oh, sure, man. Okay. But the only thing about it is, I'm, I was saying, well, it can't be too difficult. We're going to do my girl. I, my band already played that, you know. <laughs> the first tune we did was a Broadway tune, tempo about 135, right there. And it started in the key of E flat for eight bars, and then, then it went to the key of E. From the key of A to E to A, and then the key of B. Tempo fine. And the thing about it is, it, it was written in India ink, but Throughout time, they changed the arrangement. You know, segue from major 55 to major 120. And, and I'm reading the end of your ink, right? I didn't see the pencil. So I'm lost, man, and nice. And nobody seemed to want to help me because the show, man, the show is flying. This is one tune after another, all show tunes. I'm saying, where is my girl? <laughs> All show tunes. And the guy sitting by me playing third trumpet, he was a pro. I mean, he was a pro. He was a, a, he was a veteran musician from Detroit. All of, them, all of the guys were Detroit players. I mean, play. And uh, he looked at me like, welcome to the big time, young man. <laughs> After about two nights, I finally called on. 